Welcome back to the channel, man. Today, it's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna try to figure out how to take that ugly, that ugly fender thing off of the DLZ 400 for good, you know what I'm saying? Everybody comments and says, hey man, you need to get rid of that wheel tail in the back. That thing's ugly, so today's the day. I'm done with it. I'm finished with it. I'm not too crazy good mastery mechanic status at wiring and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna try to take you guys with me and we are gonna try to figure this thing out together. You know what I'm saying? If I fail, then I fail. I'm gonna come back the next day prepared with what I need. You know what I'm saying? But for now, man, we gonna just take a shot at it and try to get this thing done. Um, I'm gonna need some butt connectors. I don't have a heat gun, so I'm gonna try to use lighter. Hopefully that turns out pretty good. I got my um, electrical crimper and stripper. The LED strip right here, man. This uh, 4.5 inch. I thought they were a little bigger from the pictures, man, but they should do pretty good. So I can bend them to the uh, the shape of my wheel well or whatever. Whatever you want to do with them, you can basically um, do to it. So that's pretty cool too. Yeah, there's six. Yeah, so there's eight bolts at the bottom. It looks like it's four 10 millimeters and four eight millimeters. right loose in like one turn same with that one all right so now it feels pretty loose now but it don't seem like it's quite ready to um come off just yet so uh i'm gonna go ahead move on to the eight millimeter bolts all right so i tested the one bolt and that one seems like a bit smaller than the eight so there's two eights eight millimeters um which are attaching the blanker but to get this thing off i have to take these off regardless Probably gotta unscrew this and take that whole thing off. That's what it's looking like. Basically, you take this screw off, pop the cover up, the screw that's holding the bulb in place. So before I do that, I would pop the bulb out. So you you gotta turn the you gotta push the bulb down, turn it to the left, then pull it right up. Now I can get to that screw right here. So I'm gonna take the screw out. You're to the point where you just gotta cut these wires to get this off. Cut those right off. Push that wire through and then let it hang there for a minute. Take um, a couple more screws out and see if that gets it all the way up. All right, so I got the first one. I got the first, I believe it's a six millimeter. It was smaller than an eight, so it might be a six and a half. I got that one out. <clears throat> now I'm about to take the other one out for real. Oh yeah. So that's the last bolt that I gotta take out, it looks like, for it to actually just fall all the way up. Thing just falls off, let me see. Yeah, so that thing, now that joint is basically all the way loose for real. So, the only thing attached to it is the rear brake light. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, 
Detach the, uh, the brake light from there now. To try to get the whole thing up. Alright, now one more bolt in here. Yes, sir. So it looks like this little rubber piece just comes off. So there's two. Fill up screwdrivers in the back that I ain't see, so I'm pretty sure that's how I get this off. So let me go ahead, screw them joints off, and see what happens. That's the other one. Oh yeah, and it just slide, it just slid right off. So uh, that was easy for real. Now it is. So I guess my bulb already broke from when I fell the last time. And I don't know if you can see, but like way deep down in these holes right here, it's a Phillips, there's two Phillips screws right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get those things out. Dang. This screwdriver ain't long enough for that. So I think I'm gonna just have to cut the wires where they at right now because I don't think I can get all the way inside of there so it's only going it's going to lose like an inch of wire but sure, it should be fine for real there we go so that thing's off this is the right turn signal left turn signal and then the brake and running um, tail light right here Cut the LED wire a little shorter because it was like super long before for real. I put the connector on, made sure like both the wires is connected for real. And it looked like the uh, I'm looking down in the um inside the butt connector right now, and it looked like they should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna go ahead and prep this joint together. Just to make sure. Now it's time to find a place to mount the light. So I know I want my red brake light like under the, in the fender well. I don't know where exactly I will put um, turn signal. Right there. All right, man, so I finally got both turn signals mounted. I did a little cleanup job on it. I tucked the wires pretty good under the fender with some zip ties. And yeah, man, I'm gonna show you guys both the lights working. So that's how that looks. The right turn signal and the left turn signal. So. Well, I'm pumped up right now. I actually was super nervous trying to, um, before I even attempted this project you know what i'm saying but after i hooked it up and test and tested the light and seeing that it was working and stuff man all them butterflies you know what i'm saying 
just went away, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, damn, I actually did this, you know what I'm saying? I still gotta order a LED for the uh for the tail light because my initial plan was to use these LEDs for the tail light, but I'm like, um, they came in, they were smaller than I expected. And uh they came in a pair, so I was like, shoot, why not just do the um the turn signals right now, you know what I mean? So I did that, man. More upgrades on the way, man. More content on the way. And make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, man. I'm going to see y'all in the next one.